established industry and has two separate fields meat production and egg production it is an old practice which has evolved immensely over time in the olden days chickens were raised in smaller groups often as a family affair the main use was for the production of eggs with the occasional one slaughtered for consumption they also served as a handy disposal unit for food scraps and vegetable peelings they were kept in coops, which were large cages with wooden rails for the chickens to perch on at night, and water and food containers. There were also nesting boxes with straw in which laying chickens could lay their eggs. There was often an area of grass or orchard into which they were released during the day to forage for insects and other food. Most households would host 3 to 20 chickens. A lot has changed since then. Poultry farming is now considered one of the most profitable ventures if managed properly. On today's episode, we feature Pastor Kololi Gerishum, a retired agriculture engineer from Bongoma who is specialized in hatchery since 2013 and produces over 2,000 chicks every month. Pastor Kololi takes us through why he considered venturing into the hatchery business. Mimi ni mufukaji na napenda kilimo cha kuku. Kwa kitaluma, mimi ni agriculture engineer. Ni me train na chuo cha Echoton na nikafanya katika serikali kwa miaka mbili 1975-1976 na hatimaye nikachiunga na uh, kiwanda cha kufanya uh, kutengeneza sukari cha nzoya na hatimaye nikamaliza nikastahafu na nikaingia kwa hii kilimo cha ufukaji wa kuku Asa Saidi sema mbaya na penlea na kufanya hachi. Nilianza umuradi mwaka ilifumbi na kumina ine. Na nimeone ya kwamba ni mzuri na inafaa. Uh, Saa hii bile naongea hivi. Uh, na mashina sa mbaya nafanya. Kama bifaranga ilifumbi kwa mwezi. Na napendelea kufanya hivyo na nafanya vizuri. Pastor Kololi started by rearing poultry before he decided to specialize in the hatchery business. To get started in his business, he started small by investing in a 352 eggs incubator. With time, his business expanded and there was a need for him to invest in more incubators that could hold more eggs. Fanya ile mradi wa kuwa na kuku zenyewe zinataka mayai, zinalalia na sina hatch. Kutoka hapo ndipo nikaingia mambo kwa hatch by incubators. So I was born in 352 and I was born in 1232. I was born in 352 and I was born in 352. So I was born in 352. Now I was born in Ingepeta. I was born in Ingepeta. 1,232 eggs. I kaendelea mpaka ipokuja mwaka 2017 ndio nikakuja kununua hii ya 1232 na imeona simempatia uh, service nzuri uh, so hapa baada ya kufanya hatching na toa hapa vifaranga alafu nakuja kufanya brooding hapa one day only chicks baada ya kuwa hapa ndani as opposed to natural methods where the hen sits on the eggs, 
Farmers in commercial hatchery businesses involve an artificial incubator where eggs are hatched under artificial conditions. This is a situation where an incubator machine imitates a mother hen. There are many commercial artificial incubators of varying capacities. Most depend on electricity, but some use gas or kerosene for heating. All of them use a thermostatic switching device to keep the temperature constant within 1 Celsius degree. The correct humidity is usually maintained by having a predetermined surface area of water appropriate for each incubator chamber. Pastor Kololi tells us more on how this works. Katika maenewe hai yetu, watu wamekuwa wakifanya mradi wa kuku au kilimo cha kuku kwa kiwango ya chini. Na walikuwa wanakosa kupata uh, padi pa kutoa uh, mbeku nzuri na kuku kwa kiwango ambayo inahitajika. Wenga ambao wanafanya kilimo ya kuku hapa na wanafanya kwa njia ya kienyeji, the natural way, ambayo uh, kuku inataka mayai atmai na kalia na kupata vifaranga na hiyo haitoseleshi unapangalia mahitaji hasa consumers na vile population inaendelea kukua hiyo haitoseleshi ndipo nikaingia pengine kwa ya kwamba kama naweza kusalisha uh, kupitia kwa incubators naweza kupeana uh, kiwango ya kutosheresha nikaingia kwa umradi eggs need four things to hatch one proper heat two moisture, three, ventilation, and four, turning. Eggs have the best hatch rate when stored for no more than seven days before beginning to incubate. Allow cool eggs to warm slowly to room temperature before placing in the incubator. Abrupt warming from 55 degrees to 100 degrees can cause moisture condensation of the eggshell, which can lead to disease and reduced hatches. Eggs must be turned at least two to three times daily, depending on the incubation period. Many experts say if you can turn them four to five times a day, that's even better. Do not turn eggs during the last three days before hatching. The embryos are moving into hatching position and need no turning. By day 18, the embryo has developed into a chick and will take up most of the space in the egg. The chick is preparing to hatch. The eggs in the incubator hatch from the 19th day in the hatchery until the 23rd day. When the big day comes, let the chick hatch on its own. Do not attempt to help. Blood vessels that haven't dried up yet may still attach the shell to the chick and prematurely pulling off the shell can cause excessive, potentially fatal bleeding. A chick can take up to 24 hours to completely hatch, although 5 to 7 hours is more common. <laughs> Lakini kama kila kitu kunafanya vizuri, all is well, kunaweza kupata the first chick at 19 days. And then 20 days, quite a number will come out. Lakini by 21st day ndio ya mwisho, yo sasa ni kama bi zingi sutakuwa simetoka by that time. Uh, 22 days is very rare, maybe one or two. But otherwise, it's a good An incubator requires electricity round the clock as the process of hatchery should not be interrupted. Pastor Kololi has a backup generator that he uses in case of power failures. Niko na generator hapa as a backup. Niko na generator hapa ya 3 kBA. So steam ke potea meter na tunaweka generator. Naweka mafuta kila wakati. Ili steam inapopotea na tunaweka na tumia generator. Otherwise mayai itaribika. Hata pia kwa vifaranga steam ke potea Brooding refers to the period immediately after hatching when special care and attention must be given to chicks to ensure their health and survival. Pastor Kololi explains to us that after the hatching he broods the chicks as they have not fully developed the mechanism to regulate their body temperatures until they grow feathers, usually within three weeks. Most of his clients prefer buying three-week-old chicks as they are considered to be out of danger. 
This is because brooding is tasking and can be daunting for inexperienced farmers. Most farmers record a high mortality rate for chicks under three weeks owing to poor hygiene, feeding, diseases, poor temperature control, among others. Wakulima wengi hawapendi vifaranga ambao vipo very young kwa sababu viko very delicate to handle. One day old, ingawa hiyo kama ningefanya ya hivyo ningekuwa na wateja ingekuwa sawa. Lakini wakulima wengi hawapendi ya kwa sababu isabi delicate kwa handle kifaranga cha siku moja. Saa wengi huja hapa baada mawiki tatu, mwezi moja, mwezi mbili. Wakulima wengi wanapenda zila ambaye tayari umefanya vaccination. Kadhaa hivi faranga haina mama na wanaita wanataka heat. Kwa hivyo tuko na infrared uh, light ya 250 watts ta ambaye anatumia kupeana heat, ku provide heat. Hasa usiku ukiwa baridi uh, kama uweze kuwa na hiyo heat unaweza kukuta kwamba unapoteza vifaranga vingi sana. Particularly in the first one month siko very sensitive kwa baridi. So, hapa tunafanya kati ya one day na about three weeks to one month. Baada ya hapa, niko na brooder sambai sinaesa handle kapasiti ya mia tatu na kapasiti ya mia tatu. Uh, singine na handle hapo nyuma kidogo. In the former days, chicken really were not considered as important livestock on the farm. The meat was only eaten on very special occasions and eggs were a luxury. The demand for poultry products has in the current times become unquenchable, with the high rise of eateries and restaurants and the world pushed towards white meat consumption versus red meat. Pastor Kololi decided to step in and offer a solution in production of chicken for his home area by running a hatchery business. This, he says, was meant to increase poultry production as it was low in this particular region as well as earn an income. For what we want to spend there in Brooklyn Kenyaji in a Kenyaji. Ah na hiyo ndio tumeingilia saidi. Sisi usalisha hiyo saidi. Kwa sababu watu wanapenda kwa mahoteli wakienda kukula wanataka hiyo local eh, breeds. Na hiyo ndio tunasalisha mali hapa. Mm -hmm.